Hi YouTube, I am back. I'm gonna do a pick a card because I started thinking, I don't know if people are gonna want this reading or not, but I was meditating and I was just thinking about what kind of reading I should do next. And I kind of wanted to dive into, um, you know, what would you, what is for you something that you are sure that you're going to get and you don't have to worry about it you know it's almost as if well, if you knew that you were going to get that thing that you wanted or desired uh, you know how would you act like would you be okay where you're at of course i would you know if i knew what i if you all knew what my goal is, it's something I really desire in my heart. I sometimes, yeah, I worry about it. Okay, what if, you know, I'm already old. Not that old, okay. But but yeah, I am um, I just always wonder if I'm going to get what my heart's desire. Okay, so let's just get into it and see what comes up okay for everybody so let's see we have five options we have ace two three four and five and see what we get here okay so let me move my thing away and s if you need more time pause it let's start with ace now we have ace see what your angels want you to know regarding your heart's desires Let's see. Whoa, there is a decision here already for some of you. Some some of you, there's probably not a decision. There's probably, um, there's a message here that maybe it is something. I'm getting here. There is something that you want. It's like your angle. But right now, it's almost as if there is some kind of decision or if you are juggling too much you have too much going on you're doing this you're doing that you can't even focus on what you really want because you're you're almost trapped in this routine kind of thing or you're busy with other things and i feel like and with the justice card here if you keep doing what you need to do and keep doing the right thing and um because we have angel of integrity if you keep doing what you're supposed to do the right thing and nothing is happening don't worry because it will we have this i feel like it's a victory it's a milestone but it's almost as if you're going to get there this is a very straightforward message <laughs> because usually i don't get straightforward messages right away um like this okay so let's look into it some more if some of you you know what i'm getting to i just got this right now is that some of you are questioning the decisions that you've made before and you feel that maybe you made the wrong decisions or you made way too many wrong choices in the past it doesn't matter okay right now it seems as if there's nothing going on but you see you see at the end of this it almost seems like you're walking down uh this road and nothing's really happening it's quiet that's what i'm picturing like this what i'm getting with this energy and at the end you see the sun you see the you see the lake or whatever it is it's might not be happening right now but it will that's what i'm getting okay so let's see let's see what else we get here what is this two of pentacles here for give me some more for number twos wow five of pentacles yeah it's almost as if you're doing things there's a l lack of hope lack of um confidence or moving forward or feeling like you're not really going anywhere you don't have anything stable secure nothing's really feeling like almost like you're feeling up in the air you don't have something for sure 
Like maybe you don't even see signs. Um, you don't see anything happening. And it just makes you feel like you've, you're forgotten. You know, like, like, how do I say? That feeling of lack, you know? But let's see what else we get here. What is this um, justice? Like you're moving forward, but you don't see anything solid yet. Like you don't some some of you probably don't even see signs yet or you see signs but nothing's really happening. That kind of thing. What is this justice about? For some of you there's decisions, but you might be afraid if you move forward. Whoa. Some of you, if you've done a lot in the past as well, we have justice here is saying nothing. Nothing that you've done before is going to go unnoticed. You know, it's not going to go unnoticed, okay? There might be a decision over past. I am also getting um, child support, child or just, um, you know, some kind of um, court case regarding kids or something. Or maybe somebody here that needs to make a decision over some kind of past. What is the Six of Cups? With the justice card doing the right thing queen of cups wants to pop out um it seems as if you know whatever has happened in the past that has led you to this place where you need to really take care of yourself whatever has happened in the past i'm seeing a mom with kids here Okay, Queen of Cups with the Six of Cups. Okay, if some if somebody's done you wrong in the past, that it just is gonna be served. That's what I'm getting here. Give me more. Why is the Six of Cups here? Give me more on this Six of Cups. King of Swords. Yeah, why do I see court case here? That's a lawyer here. Anyways, but this could also be somebody that was cold in the past for some of you. Somebody that was very distant, very cold, turned their back on you. Somebody that has done you wrong in the past that you considered someone as a soulmate or a childhood friend or something. And you were very giving, very loving. Um, so that's it's justice will be served. Karma will be served. Okay. Uh, meaning there's going to be something that you that there is going to be made right for you. Like, maybe you won't see their karma, but you'll see your karma. Like, because you did the right thing at the time. You thought that was the right thing. I do feel like some of you probably have done something, but something that you're not most proud of. I don't know why I'm getting this. This is so out of the blue. This is not in here, but... Maybe you've said or done something that you're not proud of, but it I feel like spirit is saying that's fine. It's okay, you're okay. Okay. What is this status quo? I'm seeing a family here with the ten of pentacles. There could also, maybe something is not happening right now because you've been um, on the go, maybe even very focused on family, very focused on, wow, I'm seeing heartbreak here regarding somebody that was inconsistent too and nothing really happened with that. Why is the Knight of, Knight of Wands here? You might be traveling with family too. Some of you, not all of you. What is this Knight of Wands about? Give me more on this Knight of Wands. There is someone from far away that maybe you had family with, or maybe you knew, uh, if you didn't have family with, maybe you had a commitment with, or it felt like a commitment, or maybe you lived with them, or um, known them for quite some time, and you both built something together. Um, it could be that someone is here from far away seeing you, seeing you, like uh, keeping an eye on you. Some of you, 
some of you not all of you okay this person is gonna try to come back around and i'm and if it's not your past i'm getting your past because we got we did get the six of cups here and if it's not your past it could be someone that you need to prepare for because this person is going to want commitment with you okay Give me more on this milestone. Oh, I got two. <laughs> yeah, for some of you, this is someone new. Okay. Somebody that really wants to invest time and energy in you. Somebody could be a hard worker as well. I feel like this is the same person. It could be a Virgo. It could be a Taurus, Capricorn. But I feel like this person wants to spend time with you, be with you. They're going to be very attracted to you. Give me more on this page of Pentacles, person. Page of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like this person is either you're going to... I don't know why I got online for some reason. It could be, but I don't really usually use this as online. It could be because we do have the Eight of Wands here. But it, this person could also be planning for the future. Somebody you plan for the future. They do want someone that they want to spend time with, spend their energy, take you out, really focus on, you know... Um, really focus on coming together and that is your milestone here a lot of you here are single okay i didn't really plan on this being a love story for some of you if this is work as well if you have some court case going on something that's going to go away, but the best is yet to come. We have the good life, the Ten of Pentacles. That is good, the good life to me. You know, that is long-term stability, security. Okay, it's never, it's never a perfect life, but still, that you will feel secure. Secure and stable. And you're, you are going to meet some kind of milestone here. It could be also money promotion for a lot of you. If you're not really focused on on love. And if you are working very hard for a promotion or work or stability security here. You're going to get there. Don't worry. Okay. That's what I'm getting here. Very strongly. I do see both. But um, if we want to turn around for career-wise, this could be the milestone you hit. But for others of you, I do see love coming in. And it could, could be new. But it's almost as if it's really up to you to make a decision too for most of you. To really release the past. Because whatever you've given... To the past whatever you've given in the past i mean is going to be returned to you and you're and it you're gonna be happy with it let's see what else do the angels want you to know give me more it's almost like i'm talking to someone that has done a lot in the past and that's the first message i got it's if you're doing the right thing if you had to do a right thing and make some different choices, different decisions, you did you did good. Okay. It's give me more finances and career. Say I told you a retreat. You're going towards something. If you've disconnected from everyone and everything, give me more for ace. Hang on, let me ask first because I'm not ready. Did have I did see passion though? Ace group. What do the angels want? The ace group. I don't know. This could be the one. Ooh, I don't like that card. <laughs> Because um, there could be some codependency issues. Look at that past life relationship. 
past life relationship. Let's see. Okay, let's see what this codependency is. A lot of you are going to meet the one when you least expect it, I feel. Codependency. There could be some codependency issues with them. If you've been healing, um, it could be them. There's a desire here. This person has not very... They have some kind of fears, so it might be them that... Um, Mm, maybe there are some addictions there or codependency, meaning, you know, they have some fears of someone abandonment and, you know, emotional feel, fears. Like um, they can have this attachment of um, always depending on someone else. They could have, hopefully, not drugs and all that, alcohol. What is this past life relationship? Give me more of this past life relationship. I'm getting strong Pisces here. Or you might be just, for some of you, yeah, I'm getting strong Pisces here. Wow. Yeah, it's a past life relationship. Okay, slowly it will turn turn around if you already know this person from a past life things will turn around you both will heal or you're here in this lifetime to heal together and let go of those past life whatever you've gone through the past life with this person give me more of this hangman yeah some of you need to let go of some kind of burdens from the past or heal something from the past there is some i'm getting emotional burdens okay what is this this could be the one and you never know you know i've told somebody this before you never know when the when if you've met someone you had a terrible i've heard this story before they've had a terrible relationship for years they split up uh five five years I forgot how many years, but it was quite a few years after they met up. They got to know each other again because they've changed so much and they got married. They're actually going to get married because I, it's, it's somebody I already know, but they haven't gotten married yet. So it could happen. You never know, but it's really up to you. If you're like me, I can't, I can't go back to someone from the past anymore. That's just me, you know, but you just never know. I never know. I might eat crow. <laughs> you know? What is this? This could be one, the one. Yeah. It, it almost screams past. Okay. Things will be cleared up. Um, for others, if it could also be, you know, past life. Um, for others, you'll see why things did not work out in the past and that always happens that always happens with me because thank god i dodged a bullet okay because i in the past if i would have ended up with my first true love it was not true love guys i thank god that i didn't okay because oh the life i would have lived you know good thing that i didn't end up with my first love Give me more on this moon. See, there's some kind of fears, but it'll clear up. Give me more on this moon. Yeah, there is some kind of codependency attachment. Could be um, some emotional attachment somebody has. It could also result in an apology for some of you or healing the past and letting go of some kind of past energy very burdensome you know that's why i was feeling the emotional burdensome here the emotional burden because um uh, the eight of cups came out that is emotional burden um it's just draining okay so that is what i have i hope that made sense thank you so much and i hope it helped somebody that needed to hear this okay so we have a lot of earth, fire, I see all signs, Sag, 
water don't dwell on the signs guys it's just a message of whoever needs to hear it i see a lot of pisces um fire cancer fire again earth sag okay uh, libra okay let's keep going here number twos let's see what we have for number twos letting go energy joyous fun hmm. knight of wands and judgment okay so it seems as if a lot of you are freeing yourself from the past um if you did free yourself from a past here it could have been with somebody that was inconsistent with you you almost have the same energy as the last pile interesting okay so let's look and see what we have here. what is this judgment i'm gonna have to change my camera pretty soon because the other one is charging so i might interrupt this mm. a lot of you are freeing yourself but there is some energy here that it does not want to let go or you haven't completely let go it's almost as if you want to take them with you but they can't we'll look more into it and see if they can't come with you there is some kind of letting go look at that judgment angel of the past letting go see and then she almost wants to forcefully take them but they're like no i can't go with you to the next door you know huh interesting I don't know what that means, but let's look. What is this judgment? Wow, with the sun. And then we have the joyous fun. The sun is joy, fun, um, happiness, the happiest card in the deck. So let's see. Give me more of this sun. It's almost uh, like letting go of the past to heal, to find happiness. Letting go of the past to find, yeah, happiness. Whoa. Happiness, joy, fun, again. What is going on? It's the same message here. Sharing love. Love and happiness with your friends, family, being happy, celebration, vacationing with friends. Wow, party. I feel like party. Um, social activities. Going out, having fun. I'm getting concerts for some reason. <laughs> um, I love it, you know, <laughs> because I um makes me think of the concert that I, after a breakup I had once for the millionth time don't judge me i don't judge you <laughs> um back in the day when i was not close to healing at all um i had so much fun that i didn't really care about my breakup anymore like i screamed it out i left all the energy in that concert it looked it felt that way like music was the music was just healing for me it was amazing feeling. I loved it. It lasted me a couple days until <laughs> I thought about my breakup again. <laughs> what is this Knight of Wands? Knight of Wands. Okay, it seems as if this is your past. Somebody that has left you out in the cold or you've left them. Yeah, see, le left, even though I didn't see this here. Well, with the judgment, I guess that's probably why I was feeling it. Somebody that left or maybe you left the situation and they feel out in the cold, abandoned. Um, hmm. Give me more because this is a night of one. Somebody that was very inconsistent, very passionate and not easily... Um, how do I say it? Uh, for the lack of a better word, uh, retained. Like you, you couldn't 
hold on to this person at all like they didn't like to be held back or anything like that um let's see what is this joyous fun wow things are gonna turn around you see how this looks these i've never noticed that this kind of looks like the will of fortune I always thought there were Ferris wheels, but no. Now that they're being highlighted, it's almost as like jackpot, jackpot, jackpot. I don't know what that means. But there's so much fun. It's almost like your luck is going to turn around. And it's seven. Sevens are lucky. Lucky um, numbers. I, I feel like sevens are lucky in as for the collective because you know how you go to the casino you get seven 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 that's what everyone thinks of sevens when they see sevens maybe some of you are seeing sevens uh some of you are given um signs of sevens triple sevens keep a look out for those then that's a confirmation give me more uh of this reading give me more of this uh curious fun it's almost like your luck is going to turn around. Huh. The high priestess. Yep. Something's happening in the ethers. That something within you, you know your luck is turning around. There is an inner knowing. Like I, like, I know if I let this go, my luck is going to turn around. When I completely let it go. Interesting. Give me... Or some of you are getting signs that if you let this go, something's going to turn around for you. What is this Wheel of Fortune? Your luck is going to turn around. And that is what this is. Is like there is... Your luck is going to turn around, but you have to let go of those that do not deserve your luck your energy because you are going to be this lucky charm kind of thing and it's interesting because that's uh, kind of my nickname so let's see give me more of this um high priestess and will of fortune wow see look at it's in the stars luck wow it's in the stars. It's a uh, wish fulfillment. Uh, healing the past. Freeing yourself from past karma. Like you are starting. Um, you're starting over. Like you've, you've already burnt out all that karma from a past life. Kind of. That's the way that I'm feeling here. Give me more of this letting go. It's almost as if you've gone through a very harsh lesson that you needed to learn because of maybe a past karma or past cycles that you've kept repeating. And finally, you did the right thing and you're letting go. You're going towards a happy, happy cycle here. What is this let, letting go? Give me more of this letting go. Why do they need to let go? Why is letting go here? Why is letting go? It's almost like this one wanted to turn around what the emperor wanted to come out to. And um, it's almost as if you've put so much energy, you've planted a lot of energy You've planted a lot of energy. I mean, you planted a lot of seeds. You've given away a lot of your energy. And it's time to let go so those can come to fruition. Why is this here? Give me some more of why letting go is here. Yeah, look at that. This is also the good life, like not having complaints a lot of you could be single or very stable very um it's almost like very stable you have your own house your own car your um bills are paid you don't have to worry about that 
Oof, this, I can relate because I had a very bad relationship with money before. If, as you can tell, I like to beautify everything. Um, I just, you know, it's my Venus. Um, but it's almost as if you've given so much, like you're even probably a giver in a relationship. You've given so much that it's time for those seeds to come back to you, but they can't come back until you let go of those people or let go of something that is not meant for this blessings or not meant for you to give of yourself like they they the universe knows that you will give of yourself to those that don't even deserve it i hope i'm making sense let's look into why this energy is still here i don't know i don't know let's look into it why is it still here it kind of lets me gives me this energy that someone is still someone from your past is still like surrounding you either not surrounding you or your their energy is still there maybe you need a cleanse or something but let's look into it some more give me more of this knight of wands Ooh, look at that the dog came out so weird look at that and it wanted to come out um i'm gonna cover it um it wanted to come out in reverse so i'm wondering if you're trying to Ooh, i'm getting some kind of bond with this person like a trauma bond i don't know why i'm getting trauma bond that is weird that's probably for one person here but it's so difficult to let go of this person maybe it was a very strong very um maybe even a very harsh lesson that you had to go through uh, with this person is very hard to let go because you felt tied up with this person or maybe it's hard to let go but your angels are saying you are ready to let go. Once you let go of that and you start really focused, really focused on you, your stability, I feel like there is some seeds that you've planted that are going to come back to you. But this person does not deserve that energy. That's what I'm getting. And some of you probably don't want to hear that. Um, give me more of this devil energy yeah see something from the past and we had judgment twice here it's almost as if uh it's gonna be very difficult to let go but it's it's a final decision to let go something from the past is still there though lingering on maybe there is someone here that won't let go okay so let's look into And for some of you, if this, I cannot, I feel like most of you here are single. I, it's, if you're here because of career, you're going to be very established. Okay. Everything that you've been planning, all the seeds and everything are, you're going to feel very independent. Some of you need to really let go of a job, a location, a relationship or something to become this this independent person okay for some of you and you need to take action really make a decision to let go of a location that is just bringing you down release that past because what's waiting for you is a lot more wow it's beautiful okay so let's look in love what do the angels want you to know Playfulness, passion. Whoa, I'll take that one. And oh, retreat. A time to disconnect. What is this playfulness? What does the angel Ooh, could be someone new wanting to spend time with you, wanting to invest 
time with you, get to know you, take you out on a date. Whoa. It could be someone that is struggling to come towards you. Maybe even somebody that is acting like they're not interested or maybe you've put boundaries on this person too. You've blocked this person and you're looking towards the new for someone new. What is this passion about? The world. The world is also a new beginning. Page of Swords. It could be someone from even, um, like I said, vacation. Maybe you're traveling somewhere. It could be also somebody... Uh, foreign it could be somebody online too wanting to know get to know more about you having a conversation wanting to get to know you that's for sure the page of swords is uh, somebody that studies you that wants to get to know you what is this retreat so Slowly but surely, if you've been very unhappy right now because of how things are going or you've been going within and trying to release something from the past, some kind of energy that you were not satisfied with, it's time to let go. Okay, maybe some of you are having a very difficult time releasing the energy of feeling rejected or feeling um, something didn't work out or there was a lost opportunity. It's time to let it go. Okay, and it's easier said than done. I totally understand. I've been on my um, healing journey for quite some time. Uh, almost three, four years so you know so it's difficult but i feel like there is new a lot of you have learned a lot have a lot of inner wisdom with the high priestess here of course a lot of inner wisdom you've learned so much from the past too you've learned a lot about you you yourself about how to free yourself from something that you could not let go of there's new beginnings here okay for you even though we didn't have aces but it seems as if there's a new beginning in relationships mm -hmm. even if they're friends um but uh, of course these are love a love relationship here okay so that is what i have i'm only going to name a few of the major um signs but i do see all signs here virgo pisces scorpio gemini aquarius Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, mm, Cancer, Scorpio, Sag, <coughs> Woo, sorry, Capricorn, um, Pisces, and Leo. Okay, so let's keep going. Oh, and Sag and Scorpio there. Let's keep going here. Let's see number threes. Okay, number threes. Let's see what we have for you. We have creative endeavor, commitment, four of wands, and six of swords. Ooh, four of wands and commitment here. It does say freedom, but wow, your angels really want you to know there's commitment in the cards for you. There is a, even if, you're already committed maybe there is a commitment a contract that you're signing on to meaning like a new job a new creative endeavor a new project um something like that that's gonna bring time for celebrations or something to celebrate uh, a resolution for something maybe bigger pay more pay for you or um let's look into it some more let's see what we have what is this resolution? Whoa. There is Ace of Pentacles. I was going to show you that. <laughs> and then they went crazy. Look at that. Ace of Pentacles. With the star and four of swords. Meaning, if something not really happening right now, it will. Okay. There's a new beginning. 
there is a promotion if that's what you're looking for more pay more stability more security of a, a sense of security what is the six of swords for the third pile six of swords the emperor if this could be somebody in your life or it could be you taking charge of your own life and finding a solution or really taking charge during you letting go of maybe even sacrificing something in order to really take charge of a situation in your life. Things are going to turn around for you. I love the Wheel of Fortune. Okay. Luck is on your side. There is a resolution. If there is something that is really boggling you down right now. I never say that word. But maybe somebody needs to hear this. Um, no worries. Luck is on your side. There could be also you leaving a situation behind. And you're going to find someone come to your... Somebody might be coming into your life that is um, like out of the blue kind of thing. What is this four of wands? I'm getting a lot of messages. Okay, so just see what res feels like it resonates. What is this four of wands? Ooh. Inner wisdom. What is this? Something here is telling you. Some of you also need to free yourself from something in order to find happiness. And you know that. You have this intuition, this sense, this little voice that is telling you. It's time. It's time to let go. Hmm. Give me more of this four of wands. Or this little inkling that's telling you, don't worry. Don't worry. You know better. Or something like that. I don't know. Whoa. Yeah. Something letting go some of you have learned so much and have grown so much from an ending from the past you're going towards happiness what is this commitment about commitment you're manifesting commitment. Have some patience. Yeah, there could be somebody coming in. If this, if you're not here for love, it could also be that you're manifesting a, a position or something, a creative endeavor, a project or something that you really love. Okay? You could also be manifesting um, something that really... Is going to take some kind of patience for it to come in as well. If you're thinking about commitment and love, be patient. Take things slow. Okay. Give me more of this temperance. Yeah, you're going to be moving forward. You're going to be feeling a lot more confident. For some reason, I feel like this is someone coming towards you though. Okay, there's victory here. What is this creative endeavor? A lot of you are single here or trying to release something from the past. Some of you still hold on to this past, but it's time to let go of it. What is this creative endeavor? It's not the person you're holding on to the feelings of a betrayal or something that hurt you very much. And then it's easier said than done. I truly understand. You know, it, it took me couple years to you know really solidify my healing journey you know what I mean like it took forever to let go of some hurt it and it comes in waves I'm not gonna say I'm completely healed like not everybody heals completely I don't believe that it just takes a lot of time what is this creative endeavor wow what is it that is happening here it's always like you're manifesting happiness you are really putting all the energy the time you're really taking action 
in order to manifest the life that you want this happiness coming towards you you've been putting a lot of energy and time self-care self-love into you it's almost as if something from the past that has ended that you had to leave behind and really take charge of a situation pushed you into what you're really meant to have wow number threes wow i love this reading it's almost like things are going to turn around because you took charge give me more of this emperor four of wands we have four of wands twice it's almost like you had to take charge for your own good or maybe even at work your luck is turning around if you left something behind you left a position or you're leaving a position or something too you're going towards something that is going to make you so much happier make you feel more fulfilled i love it wow how about in love what do your angels want you to know in love if this is love then you're gonna get extra messages of course for number threes what do angels want to know freeing yourself see this could be just look it's time to take back control of your life it's almost like you need to take control like i kept repeating that earlier it's almost like you took charge that's what i've kept saying took charge and really freed yourself whoa number threes what do they need to know it could be also a feeling of freeing yourself from that betrayal like i was saying it's a feeling that you haven't let go of and love yourself first a lot of you need to love yourself first here sometimes we forget about ourselves when we get in a relationship give me more of this reconciliation this could be somebody wanting to come in and reconciliate apologize i do see an apology there but i didn't mention it it could be your past too because we did see the temperance um there see your past judgment so it's up to you if you want this or not making a final decision over it over somebody that was not really was a little bit flaky um probably younger than you doesn't have to be but somebody that has a very um not f well flaky sometimes but very energetic childlike energy what is this love yourself first some of you have to take action and really make a decision a final decision here yeah to block now if this person okay this this is what i try to tell my clients okay when people that come to me you have to have some standards have some standards and really put yourself first do not forget about you when you start forgetting about yourself and your world revolves around them or your or the, your love for them that is not love it is love but you cannot forget about you yourself your world cannot revolve around them you have to have your own life go have your own goals your your own independence your own job your own money your own house or maybe your not your own house but you know at least strive to become better than yesterday you know do not forget about yourself okay do not love them more than yourself you you just can't and have standards you know people respect that yeah see holding on to some kind of struggle that doesn't let you see clear because tell me if i will go back to the struggles i had before with my past relationship no mm -mm. my standards are even higher than it, they were before and i don't care if i'm almost if i'll get to 40 you know like it i don't care <laughs> rather be single <laughs> okay because i do love myself more <laughs> than i did before you know and i didn't see it that way back then and a lot of you won't see it that way either but just 
think about it okay so what is this free yourself some of you need to free yourself from that past yeah free yourself from those thoughts that paralyze you about non-committal people give me more of this knight of pentacles free yourself from those that are slow to commit free yourself from heartache those that did not want to commit those that stopped giving um energy to you okay that's what your angels want you to know so if it's this person that wants to reconciliate just think about it be patient if you want to give them another try but remember love yourself first okay that is what I have. I'm gonna. I'm only gonna say some of these signs, not all of them. I see all of them. I mean, okay. So I did see a uh, Pisces, a Sag, a Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, Cancer, Gemini, Virgo, Taurus, Aries, Sag, Scorpio, Cancer, Aries. Okay. So let's keep going. Let's see what we get. Four number fours. I'm going to change camera. Okay, sorry about that. I needed to change my camera. Let's see what we get. We have peace. Pe um, peace. Oh, people. Yeah. Professional pr assistance. Empress and six of cups. Interesting. Whoops. Sorry, that's my alarm on my phone. Um, I was... Um, okay. Sorry. That was my little alarm thingy. I need to give my dog his allergy pills. But I'll do it after the reading. Let's see. We have the Empress and the Six of Cups. So I feel like... A lot of you are very focused on your career, some of you, okay? But you're also focused on, there could be some struggles here or some struggles you've overcome already. If you have not overcome these struggles regarding your career, you will, okay? This is a definite saying, don't worry, you will overcome what you need to um, over your career your or your love life even because I do have the six of cups here a lot of you are have kids if you want kids you're going to have kids uh, if, if some of you are pregnant um, or could become pregnant some of you are or, or there is going to be a new beginning for you here there's a rebirth there is abundance there's support there's people around you reciprocating love okay let's look more into it okay what is this empress what is this this empress what's this empress page of wands yeah i do see pregnancy here so if of course if you don't want pregnancy be careful use protection okay some people don't want pregnancy <laughs> what is this empress and the page of wands there could be also oh i haven't seen this card in a long time mind games manipulation um some discussions harsh discussions some harsh somebody pushed away uh, forced to walk away why is the five of swords here okay so there could be an end of those games okay or something happening out of the blue but you'll overcome it i feel like luck is on your side okay what is six of cups i do see kids here for a lot of you okay it could be regarding your kids too this is a six of cups 
there is going to be reciprocation here there is going to, you're gonna have if you're look at that family i see kids i see family i see happiness if you're trying to manifest a soulmate if you're trying to manifest a happy life you're going to have that okay now if you are trying to force something to happen um it might not end you know end well okay somebody might act out or something okay but you're but be patient because if you want something fulfilling in your life or something you're trying to manifest that will fulfill you emotionally it's going to happen but i feel like your angels are trying to tell you to be patient i know i don't know if somebody here is trying to control the situation but uh, I'll, I'll look more into that situation okay and see what that is what is this professional assistance i feel like this is career oriented for a lot of you some of you are going to be attracting those relationships okay the real the relationships be courageous connect with others like-minded people give me more i'm excited because next week i'm being invited to the women's conference now i'm gonna be going with management because of course i'm part of it now and i'm excited because i i want that i've never gotten i've never went to one because the tickets are pretty expensive but they're paying for me to go so you know i'm uh, i'm hanging out i'm talking to people that are like-minded that think like i do so i feel like be courageous be bold you will be attracting those people that are like-minded that are like you attract you're gonna be attracting people in your career that will help you that will um that are meant to be in your life that will support you show you that support that encouragement give me more of the lovers wow a lot of you are attracting somebody that is like-minded even new love somebody that is um kind of has the same goals as you in life as well too it could also be a new opportunity for you something that you've attracted into your life um something that you'll love that will fulfill you give me more of this piece i'm getting both love and and um love and um career now i'm getting another message that's why i kind of got stuck is that a lot of you started focusing and turning the page started focusing on what you love on your kids on your family you started focusing on self-love and your career the people around you you started focusing turning your focus on stuff that you love and you you are becoming this empress this abundant person in your life you've turned around and let go of people that were not serving you you've turned the page it seems and it's almost as if your luck is turning around and for some of you that are single you're it, it's you're becoming this empress or you've become this empress this you know who you are you have high standards and you're not going to bend those standards that it's almost as if you're attracting the life you want to create for yourself i don't know that is such a beautiful message and i am so proud of you if that is you okay because i love to see that uh give me more of this piece yeah some of you have been very focused on you know financial gains or even getting that promotion doing a lot at work a lot of responsibilities you've struggled a lot but don't worry oh yeah you've struggled a lot it has it, you have experienced a lot of burdens a lot of responsibilities a lot of um how do i say you've been wounded you're tired but you're gonna soon see the fruits of the that labor okay wow 
if you're also waiting for a new love but then you've been focused on other things like career financial gains um promotions and stuff like that you have too much going on in your life you have kids you have uh, you know too much going on no worries they got you you have you have lots of beautiful cards and major arcanas as well that is the universe message that they have your back like major arcana again um letting go of what has happened in the past letting go of some of the burdens that are not necessary I feel like soon, if you haven't yet, if you've made a decision, big decision, uh, letting go of something, there is a, you're going to get like a breath of fresh air I'm getting, like, wow, finally, I can look at that mountain that I just overcame. That's what I'm getting there, okay? Now, um, let's see in love, focused on love for number four. Focused on love for number fours. What do your angels want you to know? Healing family issues. See, there's family there. I'm talking to someone that has his family. Look, attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying the moment fully. Some of you are attracting things you love because you are in a career or work or people around you that you're attracting this love Ooh, you're attracting what you want into your life Ooh, what is this codependency card Ugh. but let's see maybe you're also healing codependency issues from the past what is this codependency Something about your family, your family or commitment. See, I'm getting family cards here. A lot of family cards. Maybe you're healing those codependency issues that you might have had um, and now focused on love. Give me more of this codependency. Some of you had codependency issues to heal from a young age. Yeah. It could be that you're healing that. And there's stability coming in your way. Give me more of this healing family issues. Stability. A new beginning in... Didn't you guys have this come out when I was shuffling? I don't remember if it was you. But there's promotion here for some of you. Um, okay. you sharing. There's celebration here too. There's pro, uh, a proposal. There's stability, security, long-term commitment. But there is some addiction that is affecting your love life. Okay, so maybe there is still some healing that is needed from that. Because in a, a codependency could be an addiction, like addiction to love, addiction to lust or attraction. Or it could be this you can't let go, an attachment. Um, hmm. What is this attraction? There's this desire, this fear of maybe even, um, why is the Six of Pentacles? This fear of being breadcrumbed or not having enough or lack mentality or a fear, a fear of being abandoned. See, there could be some healing issues that need to be healed. It, they might have stemmed from childhood. What is this healing family issues? You know, sometimes it could, the root of the cause of codependency and attachment here, or it could be, I forgot the two kinds of an attachment, but it could stem from a, when you were a child, 
and um, you need to release, or it could even stem from a uh, past life connection to past life. I mean, this is healing family issues. Something about family, I keep getting family. Yeah, a try, I'm telling you, it's codependency. Something here that could have happened and it's almost as if you keep finding relationships that make, make you feel that way because you feel like that's the only kind of love you deserve or something like that. That's not good. It's not healthy. Okay, that you have so much coming towards you and you are manifesting it. That's something that's in the cards for you, but it's almost as if angels want you to really heal this and let go of it so all that good stuff can come to you it can still come to you but it it's i don't i don't see how i've ne i've have yet to see that um heal when you're in a codependent relationship you know it maybe it could happen maybe it could happen i don't know but it just very difficult situation when people are not healed in a connection okay so i hope that made sense let's keep going i'm just gonna name a few i do see all signs here taurus libra and um pisces i have air capricorn fire earth cancer pisces scorpio um, I have, what is it, Sag, Pisces, Gemini, Leo, okay, and I see all signs, so don't dwell so much on the signs, let's keep going, for number fives, let's see what we have, ooh, Conscious of Whack, Hidden Motivations, Temperance, and King of Pentacles, interesting because i feel like a lot of you have hidden desires hidden you know those dreams those desires those wishes that you never you don't tell anybody they're just deep in your heart and you don't share it with everybody some of you feel like it's not going to happen like that stability that person that you create a life with um is not gonna happen but i feel like your angels want you to no be patient change your way of thinking yeah i know um i feel like someone is saying how much time you know i'm already old and no you're not it, it still could happen you know it's your heart desires manifesting but it's really up to your the up to the way that you're thinking the way that you're feeling especially when you're thinking about it and you feel the lack you're putting more power more energy into that feeling into that thought okay so let's see what is this king of pentacles king of pentacles prepare for your um if you're manifesting something like a house a job your dream job i don't know your dream it could be kids it could be stability security your house money promotion prepare for it because your ships are gonna come in if you are manifesting someone that with that you know that has their own business or so um, a person that wants stability that wants security that is rich <laughs> they could be coming in so prepare for it meaning do what you need to do like act as if it's coming and you need to prepare for it meaning um i don't know how i'll give you an example i have to prepare for a date tomorrow so i have to prepare to look to be stable i don't know like my mind be positive or 
I can't think of a good example. <laughs> yeah, prepare for it. Um, by letting go of that emotional baggage from the past and looking forward to it. You know how they say that attraction, um, prepare for it. Like I've heard this someone say, if you really want to manifest, act as if, meaning if you want to manifest someone like you, fit, fun, goes to the gym and is very stable in their career, be that person so you can attract that person. You know what I mean? Um, that's the feeling that I'm getting here. And let it go of the past, something that doesn't fulfill you. If you are also trying to manifest a new career or job, letting go of what drags down or drags you down and go towards that dream of yours, that dream job. At least take a step towards it. What is this? I should be giving that advice to myself. I've been wanting to take these classes for astrology, but I'm so busy. What is this temperance? So it's almost as if you are manifesting Investing. Some of you need to be patient because it is coming. Some of you have a lesson in patience. And it, it really... Uh, I, I'm i not a patient person. Look at that. See? Some of you have a, pa a lesson with patience or something. See, temperance twice is like you are going you're manifesting it but there needs to be some patience <laughs> be patient you're manifesting happiness a new soulmate for some of you love give me more of this hidden be patient there's happiness in the cards for you of course you're manifesting some of you want kids i do see that some of you hidden desires here want kids maybe even once is some of you probably dream of having a party a baby shower or something like that and sharing the news with your friends your family why is it three of cups here some of you are thinking about reconciliation with someone like your luck will turn around. What is this conscious of lack? But there is some kind of conscious that you're needing to really let go of. Yeah. Be patient. Some of you really need to heal relationships around you or a relationship. Some of you need to be patient because you will be finding your soulmate maybe some of you really want your soulmate to come in already or there is some healing of a relationship here but the strength card also talks about being patient holding strong be courageous bold to really really um there's a lot of yellow here meaning that maybe there is um you're needing to really look at the bright side of things like really how do i say raise your vibration how do how do i explain it there is it's almost like you have to go out there really think that the po impossible is possible i don't know how to explain it but some of you this conscious of lack this lack mentality is not helping some of you could be even writing it down typing it out and putting it online no it's never gonna happen no it's not gonna do this or maybe you even have those negative thoughts creep up on you it's you're needing to really change that it's easier said than done but you know what i've done is that i had a bad relationship with money I never say that I am broke. I don't say that. I used to say it a lot. Okay. <laughs> wow. Yeah, see, there's almost as if you're holding on to something, some negative thoughts that are keeping you from this. Keeping you from your hidden desires. And you keep going back and forth 
forth on those or you're trying to just keep yourself busy trying to save money some of you also have a bad relationship with money maybe that's why i brought it up um trying to stay afloat but a lot of you these hidden desires are going to come true there's just a lack or emotional burden that is trying that is holding you back maybe even healing relationships that surround you and really focus on the happiness being bold and courageous to go out there put yourself out there going out and stuff really celebrating yourself or focused on happiness because you are manifesting something here something that's going to be very it's going to bring happiness Give me more for pile five in love. It is safe for you to love chemistry. Free yourself. See, there is something here about freeing yourself from some kind of emotional burden or a lack mentality. Mm-hmm whoa free yourself look at that could be codependency could be some uh, very unhealthy attachment okay i'm gonna cover it up just in case is the devil energy free yourself from what give me more maybe even this bond that is very unhealthy look the king of pentacles some of you are working way too much as well working a lot or very obsessed or wanting someone that looks like they are very stable that can provide free yourself from what yeah a lot of you are very addicted to maybe even work <sighs> okay work there is also an attachment to someone that is very focused on work, maybe, too. That's another storyline. What is this chemistry? Okay, whatever. If there is chemistry here or even at work, somebody you met on at work or something like that. If you've planted some seeds with someone already or you're waiting, you're reevaluating, was this just chemistry? Was this love? Was this uh maybe you're needing to make a decision over that? What is this justice? And think about it logically. Sometimes love or maybe sometimes it's just chemistry and you need to let go of it okay or lust because we do have the the devil here and you're needing to make a decision if it is something that could end in heartbreak and you might even know that it might end up in heartache some of you if you planted a lot of seeds and it ended in heartbreak then uh, you know the karma will be served what is this is it safe for you to love I'm getting a lot of messages this, with this these readings, so just take what feels right for you. What is this? It is safe for you to love. There is someone here that you're going to come across. Yeah, somebody's coming towards you. It could be a cancer. There's movement forward. Somebody you're going to be very straightforward. This is someone new for a lot of you. This person wants stability, wants proposal. I feel like you're going to be very straightforward with this person. Or they will with you. And they're looking for something serious. Okay. Yeah. Let's look into this emotional burden. Give me more of this emotional burden for pile five. Yeah, it's someone that was looking for or maybe you were looking for love or a soulmate but it became too much of a burden emotional burden yeah 
could be that you're looking for love but you're needing to really let go of that that didn't serve you that was really bringing you down emotionally okay prepare for it because whatever you're letting go you're going towards the nine of cups which is a wish fulfillment you have to prepare for it meaning i'm still getting the same message become who you want to attract i don't know why i'm getting that i i don't hmm interesting i don't know that is what i'm getting <laughs> i don't know if who needs to hear that but that is what i'm getting i don't know why i got so low energy maybe if it was a little because of this card okay i don't know why i feel like this wasn't enough but i hope somebody that needs to hear it hears it okay so i'm going to just say a few of the uh, signs not all of them but i do see a capricorn a sag there i see a leo a taurus a pisces sag a gemini Oh, t -t 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 -t. Libra, Cancer, Capricorn, and I see all signs, so don't dwell on the signs. That is what I have. Thank you so much, and take care of you. Bye.